afternoon good evening and welcome to another video of diving trader my name is daniel and today guys we're looking at nokia uh, some of you that already follow my channel uh, or have subscribed uh, already know that i've already done a, a first part uh, of this video uh, to, or to nokia rather uh, so what we're going to be doing today is a little bit more of a follow-up and a little bit more detailed analysis on the 10 steps i follow uh, when looking at stock to give you an idea guys uh, of what we're looking at um, if you haven't already seen it uh, on my channel uh, you've got a video on uh, on this uh, on this step 10 step process that I normally take uh, it's called how to analyze a stock 10 steps before picking a trade so you can go right into that and have a look so let's go through these uh, uh, steps first of all market cap now market cap is uh, 23 billion okay and the price today is sitting at uh, 4.2 or sorry four dollars and 20 cents now looking at the historic data historic data uh, for the last years since 1994 we can see that they've had big high peaks in uh, 2000 and again in uh, 2007 and then for the last 13 years or so it's been slowly decreasing and been pretty low Okay, it's not that it's, how, how, it's not that it's uh, all time low, but uh, it's starting to pick up uh, recently. So it's up to about four dollars and twenty cents on the time of recording this video. The P ratio, uh, P ratio is quite good. Okay, so the P ratio uh, is twenty five point eight eight. So really uh, quite appealing. So let's have a look at the uh, revenue. So if we go into the financials again, you can do this from the trading 212 app. So you can go into here and you can see that the revenue, for example, you can see the uh, uh, an outlook of what the revenue is. But let's have a look in the actual uh, Google Finance page. If I can find it, there we go. Uh, so sorry, this is in actually in euros uh, at the moment. I don't know why, but uh, that's not the, not the point. What we want to look at is uh, if there's an increase in revenue in the last few years. Now, if we have a look back to 2017, uh, just over 23 billion uh, dollar uh, euros rather uh, revenue, and 2018 now sort of decreased uh, slightly. And then 2019 they picked back up, and uh, we're still waiting for the uh, for the 2020 results uh, which should be coming out uh, very soon so yeah revenue is not a uh, there's not a big increase on in revenue which is which is why a lot of investors aren't uh, investing guys i hope you're enjoying this video so far if you are give me a big thumbs up here down the right hand side and if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos just hit the subscribe button down here on the right hand side So I now having a look at the uh, assets and liabilities on the right hand side of my screen. You can see that the assets uh, have uh, pretty much stayed the same, I think, from 2018 to 2019. So 2020 results are still not out, but uh, there's not been a big change on the assets. OK, so uh, there's not been a big change on the revenue we just mentioned. So liability, there's a slight decrease. OK, so there's a slight decrease from the year from 2018 to 2019. And we hope to see that in, for 2020, there's a uh, decrease on liability as well. So let's hope to see a little bit of an increase on uh, revenue and a little bit of a decrease on liability. Uh, the actual debt to assets is 60%, which is not good. You want to be looking at at least 40% uh, or lower, uh, which is uh, normally a good percentage. So debt to assets is 60% uh, is, uh, is not great. Finally, here if we have a look at the uh, net income, net income of seven million, and the profit margin is 0 0.03, uh, which again is is not great at all. Okay, cash flow, for example, in the last uh, couple of years, well, 2019, 2018, were quite negative. But uh, if we have a look at the uh, trailing, tw trailing 12 months, um, we can see that it's, uh, we're in positive here. So that's uh, that's quite good. So that's a little bit on the financials. Uh, let's just go through. I want to go through a couple of good bits of uh, news uh, that Nokia have 
uh, published recently. Uh, this is actually the day before yesterday, so today's the 23rd. This was on the 21st. Uh, Nokia powers Mobile's network with 4G, 5G network slicing. Okay, uh, and Mobile is a, a Saudi Arabian-based telephone company. Okay, and it's concerted an effort to conduct the first ever trial of running 4G and 5G. Uh, fixed wireless access. Now I'm not an expert in the uh, in this sort of area, but it, it looks good. Okay, so uh, reading down, uh, this is something that's uh, been trialed at the moment, and uh, it could be very positive for the future. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that this goes well for for Nokia. The other bit of uh, news is uh, with a Chinese company, China Mobile. Uh, Nokia claims that the artificial intelligence 5G ran. Uh, triumph with China Mobile. So Nokia China Mobile today set a trial of artificial intelligence on the operator's live 5G radio access network to set three forecast bandwidth and detected traffic anomalies with accuracy in excess of 90%. So this is both good bits of news. This is recent. This is nothing really concrete. This is not something you say, oh, this is great. Uh, but it's good news and it's helping Nokia to go the way that they want to be going. So that's it. That's a little bit on the company. Uh, that's a little bit of the, the steps that I've taken to looking at this uh, at Nokia. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you've really enjoyed this video uh, and you enjoy seeing more of these videos, please give me a big uh, thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This really helps my channel to, to grow uh, so I can publish more videos for you guys. Uh. Okay, thanks for joining me today and have a great day.